Hi, this is Michael Orl from MobileBurn.com. Today I'm going to show you Android 4.0.3 running on a Google Nexus S. Um, I applied this manually, but um, the update should be made available to everybody um, over the course of the next month or so. A couple things I want to point out. Obvious uh, damage up here in the upper right-hand corner of the screen. It's my personal device. And um, these very tiny icons down here are from a system called Multicon. They are not part of Android 4.0. The rest of what you see, though, is... You see, this is the uh, bookmarks widget, um, you know, photos widget, that kind of thing like that. And this one goes directly to the battery section of the settings. Things are uh, quite good on Android 4.0 Honeycomb. There's a lot of good functionality on it. You can see we have uh, five home screens to deal with. There's no pinch gesture support for looking at thumbnails of them or anything like that. If I hit the volume control, on the left hand side of the device. Go down you see I can go into vibrate and then hit it again to go into true silent mode. That's new to Android 4.0. And on a related note, if you long press the power button, you'll find in 4.03 you have the option to switch ringer modes directly there too. That is not in 4.02 or earlier like on the Galaxy Nexus devices. So that was just available right now on the Nexus S. Now it's the first legacy device to run Android 4.0. It has some different features to it. Notice um, you know, this is the standard button configuration from all the earlier versions of Android. We don't find this down on the Galaxy Nexus. Galaxy Nexus has on-screen controls down here at the bottom. We have, of course, the back, home, and task switcher buttons. We don't have those on the Nexus S. So what you have instead is, of course, you still have back and you still have home. Search is there as well, and menu is there, so you'll see a difference in some of the applications not showing on-screen menu buttons. In order to get to the task switcher though, it's just like you did in older devices. You just long press on home, and it brings up the task switcher. Now you notice it might be a little bit slower than on the Galaxy Nexus since this is a single core device, but it's still pretty handy for jumping around from application to application. Now on the Nexus S right now, you can see I've got a web page uh, pulled up for the Schlock Mercenary uh, online comic strip. And I'm going to use this web page to show you how the Android Beam NFC functionality works. What I'm going to do is I'm going to tap the two devices together. And then you'll see the screen shrink. And if I tap on it, it'll send it over to the Galaxy Nexus. You can see the page coming up now. Likewise, I'll just use the task switcher here and go to Android Market and do it the other way and tap it through and you'll see the Google Market load on the Nexus S. This works with a lot of different things, uh, contacts, applications, uh, maps, a lot of things like that you'll find it'll work pretty well. I want to show you how inbound calls work. I've got a call coming in right now, and you're going to see a phone icon appear on the screen, and I'll have options to drag it left, up, or to the right. I grab the button here. See, if I drag it left, it'll decline the call. If I drag it up, it'll allow me to send a message, say, I can't talk now, what's up? And if I drag it right to the green phone icon, it'll answer the call. And of course, while you're actively on the call, you can still navigate through the phone. Works just fine. And if you pull down the notification area, you'll see the current call, and you can just tap through to get back. And all you have to do, of course, is to tap the big red button to hang up. The call log application is pretty cool as well. It uses little colored arrows to show you how many missed events you have. You can see we have two missed calls here from this number. Also had more than um, three inbound calls. It only shows up the three arrows and then it shows in parentheses six behind it. So you can see I had six inbound calls from that same number. As I mentioned before, the presence of a dedicated menu button on the Nexus S changes up the UI a little bit. You can see on the Galaxy Nexus here we've got a menu button right there on screen, whereas it's missing on the Nexus S and instead you hit the button to get the same menu. One of the things I failed to show in my walkthrough of Ice Cream Sandwich on the Galaxy Nexus is some of the changes to the music player. You can see that music player still has the cool 3D scrolling music that we first saw in Android Honeycomb. But it also has some actual changes to the player that are quite important. We'll go through and pick one of the tracks and I'll start it up. 
And if I pull up the menu, you'll see we have a new little selection called Sound Effects. That allows me to turn on a five band graphic equalizer, choose presets, or manually adjust the equalizer and bass boost and the 3D effect. And of course we have controls for the music in the notification area. And also on the lock screen. Overall, I found the ice cream sandwich experience of Android 4.0 on the Nexus S to be pretty decent. Uh, the browser works pretty well, or at least as well as it works on the faster dual core devices like the Galaxy Nexus. There are some lags still, though. Um, it's far from perfect in terms of being lag free, but you especially see it when you pull up the task switcher. There's some real delays in bringing that up at times. It's sometimes a little choppy when scrolling. But overall, I think the performance has been pretty solid. And in spite of the people talking about uh, battery degradation uh, with Ice Cream Sandwich, uh, I haven't seen that whatsoever. I imagine it's largely people just playing with their phones more. I already had my uh, dose of Android 4.0 with the Galaxy Nexus, so I knew what I was dealing with and I wasn't sitting there playing with my phone constantly. So I haven't really seen any difference in battery performance with Android 4.0. Uh, very pleased with it. It definitely is a better user interface and a better user experience than we saw with Gingerbread. And it certainly takes what, um, what I thought was an appalling effort with Android Honeycomb and turned it into something that's really usable on a smartphone in Android 4.0. So again, that's Android 4.0 Ice Cream Sandwich on a Google Nexus S. I'm Michael Oral from MobileBurn.com. Thanks for watching.